But unfortunately, what happens to us is that many a time we are not aware. Many a time our hearts are not open, our hearts are closed. And so what happens to us, we are not able to receive this wonderful blessing. What blessing can we have but more than saying the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father and the communion, fellowship of the Holy Spirit. We cannot, we cannot think about anything better than this. And so let us, as we get this blessing, open our hearts to receive it. So that really the grace of, the grace of our Lord really fill our hearts. We are filled with the love of the Father. And we are really able to enjoy the fellowship, the communion, the communion, the friendship of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Each time that we say, I confess. We say two things, for what I have done and for what I have failed to do. There are things that we have done which we know for sure, our shortcomings, our failures, which we know it is that there is a sin, but many times we don't think about the things that we fail to do. Today's readings reminds about that. The Book of Wisdom reminds about it. The second reading, <coughs> Now, the letter saying Paul will tell us about our faith and the gospel will tell us asking us whether we are wise or foolish depending on your own days how much good have we done so for the times you have failed to do good and for all the times that I know I have not lived up to the life that the Lord is calling me to let us ask sorry from you with a decision today, I will do Lord. I will give you my very best. I will please you in everything. Let's pause for a while to see where we have failed and what things that I have done which were displeasing to the Lord. Acknowledging our failures, our shortcomings before the Lord and before one another, let us say, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
And she is easily discerned by those who love her, and is found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known to those who desire her. He who rises early to seek her will have no difficulty, for he will find her sitting at his gates. To fix one's thought on her is perfect understanding. And he who rise and he who is vigilant on her account will soon be free from care, because she goes about seeking those worthy of her, and she graciously appears to them in their paths and meets them in every thought. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be.
to their lands, they took no oil with them. But the wives took flasks of oil with their lands. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a shout. Look, here is a bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids caught up and trimmed their lands. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lands are going out. But the wise replied, No, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the other bridesmaids came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel today is asking is asking a simple question. Are you wise or foolish? I think we have to look at ourselves, we look at us and say whether we are wise or foolish. Well, many things are being said to differentiate. There are a number of places where the Lord says when one is wise, alone is foolish. We know a simple definition of wise and foolish is this. If we have wisdom, we are wise. And if we have no wisdom, we are foolish. That is very simple. There is no, there's no uh, doubt about it. And so we are reading from the Book of Wisdom today when we heard this beautiful, beautiful reading of today from the Book of Wisdom. Something that is said I am not reading the whole thing, but a lot of beautiful things are said, but I just want to take one. That is, wisdom walks about looking for those who are worthy of her and graciously shows herself to them as they go. Wisdom, wisdom, she walks about looking for those who are worthy of her. Looking for those who are worthy of her. So, are we worthy? If we are worthy, wisdom will come to us. There is no, there is no problem with that. If we are worthy, wisdom will come to us. And we know what is the what is the beginning of wisdom. What does the scripture say? Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so if I really thirst for wisdom, wisdom will come to us. That's what we saw in the, in the response of the psalm today. Wisdom will come to I need to, my soul need to thirst for God like a dry, weary land without water. When I have that from my heart, definitely wisdom is going to come. And so we don't have to look around, we don't have to run around looking for wisdom. Wisdom will come to us. When my heart thirsts like a dry, weary land without water. When that becomes, definitely it will come to us. And uh, we also said, uh, so for this what do I do? I gaze only on the Lord, the sanctuary. I keep on looking at you. Then at night, my, I remember you on my bed. On you, I muse through the night. Whenever I am, wherever I am, whatever I do, 
if my heart is thirsty, my soul is thirsty for the Lord, yes, it is going to happen. So, now is a time of plenty in your life. Now is the time. If you waste this time, you are going to face the time of famine. You are going to face the time of famine. Famine will come. It will come soon. And so what do I need to? I need to collect. Let us stand up for the profession of faith. I believe in God. Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I am Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who has been saved by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered in the Holy Spirit, was crucified and he was buried. He descended into heaven. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The offering. Let us pray that this sacrifice and ours and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your accounts for the praise and the glory of His name, for our living with the whole of His holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with a loving devotion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by His birth He brought the new world to humanity's foreign state, and by His suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. I am through the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we are praying. Oh, 
indeed, Holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending now your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the was sent, he took the chance, and once more giving them, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Ayrabon Mary, Tongni, Vithar Linto, Lukoi, and all our near and dear ones departed, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they may be united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us, Lord, we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, the Apostles, Saint Anthony, Saint John Bosco, and all the saints who peace to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet, eternal life, and by praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. God is our loving Father, and every opportunity that we get to do good is a chance given by this loving Father so that we can love Him deeply from our hearts. Asking the Lord for this grace, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We are going to pray for peace, let the peace of the Lord come into our own hearts, come into our families, and come into our society. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. You take away the sins. 
that by the pouring forth of his spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has ascended through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for protection from the pandemic that is there. Most merciful and trying God, we come to you in our weakness, we come to you in our fear, we come to you with trust. For you alone are our hope. We place before you the disease present in our world. We turn to you in our time of need. Bring wisdom to doctors, give understanding to scientists, and our caregivers with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill, protect those who are most at risk, give comfort to those who have lost a loved one. Welcome those who have died into your eternal home. Stabilize our communities. Unite us in our compassion. Remove all fear from our hearts. Fill us with confidence in your care. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Let us go and pray for our own families in a very special way, asking the Lord to, pray, to, to bless us with the peace and joy the Lord has promised. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, in you we contemplate the splendor of true love. To you we turn with trust, Holy Family of Nazareth, and that our families too may be places of communion, prayer in the authentic schools of the Gospel and small domestic churches. Holy Family of Nazareth, May our families never again experience violence, rejection and division. May all who have been hurt find ready comfort and healing. Holy Family of Nazareth, make us aware of the sacredness of the family and its beauty in God's plan. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, graciously hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go to glorify the Lord by doing three things. By doing our duties well, by doing a lot of good works, and thirdly, by using every gift what has given to us. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. I'm rejoicing night and